Ladies and gentlemen, if you were one of the people who have stuck around in the QPR2 beta on your Pixel device, maybe you wanted to leave, but you also don't want to reset your device and you were hoping for a new release quite soon to help address some of the bugs you may still be experiencing in this beta, I have some potentially good news for you because today, right now, we have the Android 14 QPR2 beta number three rolling out for Pixel devices. Let's jump into the change log here. So this first one is something that you're probably not going to care about. The second one, fix an issue that sometimes causes Bluetooth connections to be interrupted for some devices. I don't think I heard too many people having Bluetooth issues, but I do think I did hear of at least a couple of people having some issues. There was apparently a bug that caused the device to crash after restarting. There was an issue that in some rare cases caused devices to reboot when idle. There was an issue that caused live wallpapers to stop animating. And there was an issue that prevented Google Assistant from activating in some cases. These have been resolved and Google is calling them their top resolved issues, but there is another page of other resolved issues. And actually, this one seems to have more of the ones that I've heard people experiencing. One in particular, I'm happy to see listed here, and I'm really hopeful that you guys can report back and tell me if indeed it is fixed. Number one, fix an issue that sometimes caused multi-finger gestures to stop working. Fixed an issue where the device's screen didn't initially turn on when the screen was double tapped or the power button was pressed. That's tangentially related to the big one that I'm glad to see they think they have fixed. Fixed an issue that sometimes caused higher than usual CPU usage during video playback. Fixed an issue, fixed a system issue, I should say, that sometimes caused poor audio quality or higher power consumption when making calls. Fixed an issue where the keyboard was shown even if the swipe up to start a search setting was disabled in system settings. That would be fairly annoying. Fixed an issue where sometimes when a user unlocked a device using their fingerprint, there was no haptic feedback. And this is the big one for Pixel Fold devices. Sometimes after you unlocked the device while it was folded, the inner display didn't turn on after unfolding the device. So you would unlock your device. You would then open it up and be greeted by a black screen for some probably long amount of time. And in fact, it was quicker for most people to just lock the thing and then unlock it again to get into their device. That is listed as a resolved issue. And I need you guys to tell me if that is indeed fully resolved for you with prior updates to this QPR2 beta. Some people said that was already fixed for them, but some it was still lingering, hanging on. So maybe it's fully fixed for you now. Let me know in those comments. And the last one, fixed various issues that were impacting system stability, performance, connectivity, camera, and accessibility. Sort of a general catch-all. And then the last thing we got to touch on, other known issues, the assistant at a glance widget sometimes displays weather information for the wrong location. They know that is happening and they just haven't been able to fix it for this release. But again, beta three is out. If you're in the beta, go ahead and check for that most recent update in your system and it should find it and begin downloading. If you want to do this more quickly, you can in fact sideload this. You can download it directly. I'll drop a link in the description down below. You can download it and you can just sideload it and get through the update much more quickly. Even though updates have been sped up a little bit, that will go even faster than that. I also want to point out that typically QPR2 Stable is released somewhere around March, but that is a really long way out. So it remains to be seen if it actually will be March again this time. We're already on beta three and that's still two months out. So hard to say what's going on there. If you want to leave the beta channel, I've talked about this a bunch already, but the rule of thumb generally is you can upgrade without resetting your device, but you cannot downgrade without resetting your device. So if you went and you opted out of the beta right now, what would be delivered to you? Well, it would be the last stable release, which is based on QPR1. That's a downgrade. So you would have to, in the process of doing that update, your device will be factory reset. So if you wanna leave the beta, what you need to do is wait until the last QPR2 beta has been released, and this is not going to be the last one. You would opt out, it would then send you a downgrade. You don't install that one, you wait. And then once the stable build, which is based on QPR2, once that's released, that will be delivered to your device. It will no longer say in the update description that your device will be reset. You install that one and you cruise on without having to reset. So hopefully that kind of covers everything. Like I said, links to stuff in the description down below. I'll also probably drop a link to the side loading tutorial in case you need to know that. 
Also, hopefully that covers all my bases, guys. QPR2, Beta 3, rolling out. Check for those updates and report back. Let me know how it's treating you, and we can kind of build that database in those comments down below. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.